this is Crowder. Um, this is my cousin Bill Crowder uh, with Crowder Construction Company here in Charlotte. We're second generation uh, family uh, owners of, um, primary majority owners of a privately held construction company that's owned by family members and uh, also by employees. And we're not only a second generation construction company, but we're second generation members of the Carolinas AGC. Uh, my father and Bill's father, O.P. and Bill, joined the AGC in the 1950s. And as a company and as individuals, we've been involved since that time, uh, actively involved in attending conventions, participating in uh, various gatherings, and also participating in committees and working with the AGC staff. Um, we found that the AGC is very important, not just to our company, but to the industry because it has a broad uh, uh, focus. It's on our industry. It's not just a focus on building contractors or road building contractors, utility contractors. It actually works with issues that are important to all parts of our industry. It helps our relations with subcontractors and vendors. It helps our relationships with governmental agencies. And it helps us work together to find solutions to problems. The, the, the staff of the AGC works with both elected officials and governmental employees to make sure that the uh, point of view of contractors is considered. And this is extremely important. Uh, it's important to us in, in making sure that funding for projects uh, is consistent it makes sure that the regulations are things that we can live with, and it makes us an in our industry better. So, and I think during our uh, uh, membership in the AGC, where different people here have different focuses. Uh, my focus, as I said, was primarily in governmental relations and networking with other contractors, and my cousin Bill has worked in more in the technical issues dealing with uh, governmental agencies and things like that. And Bill, you may want to say Yeah, that. and I, I guess you already got the, the thing about the Bridge Design Subcommittee. Uh, workforce development is is hugely important. It has been, AGC's always been a part of that, but uh, training, education, uh, helping uh, you know, young people come into this business for us to get uh, better, more skilled workers to do what we do to educate people in that regard, um, but if you're a if you're a small company now, big companies have a lot of resources that they can that they can understand and get into rules and regulations and oversight that the that is put on all of us in business. Smaller companies uh, don't have those resources. That's one of the things that that AGC can do and does do through its committee structure uh, for all of us. Uh, with the expertise of the larger companies coming into play on these committees to help everybody understand uh, the issues with safety and health care and, and labor law and on and on and on where the, the governmental rules and regulations uh, have to be attended to and complied with after the rules get made, and that's what Otis was talking about, being a part of the legislative process, having a seat at that table is critical.